Hey, what kind of a car is that? Celebrities come out in support of alternative fuels and cleaner air. Plus, the minivan becomes the family car. All this and more right here on Wild About Wheels. Did you ever wonder how a glider can stay aloft for hours? And without the aid of an engine, how it can reach altitudes that are so high you need oxygen? Or how the curved surface of a wing creates lift? For the answers to these questions and more, stay tuned to this episode of Did You Ever Wonder? Hi, I'm David Hartman. Our country's future depends on the young people of America who have uh, the desire, uh, the imagination, the discipline uh, to explore the joys and the wonders of science and technology. It can be breathtakingly beautiful. It can also be desolate and bleak. Straddling the Arctic Circle, the Kola Peninsula of Russia seems to have just bid farewell to the last glaciers of the Ice Age. Its people live frozen in time, in many ways strangers to the 20th century. It seems neither the place for something exotic, nor the place for an adventure, but for the lure of the Atlantic salmon. Hong Kong in Chinese means fragrant harbor. It also means shipping, banking, and world-class hotels. And if you see a hint of merry old England, you're not mistaken. Hong Kong Island was leased to the British in 1842. But five years from now, in 1997, that 99-year lease runs out, and Hong Kong returns to communist Chinese rule. For now, however, it's a city definitely capitalist. But Hong Kong delivers scenery as well as shopping. First off, there are incredible views from Victoria Peak, and of course, the colorful street markets. The Aberdeen Fishing Village is a neighborhood of sampans, a home on water to some 23,000 Chinese. Six million tourists visit Hong Kong each year. Many realize that these visits may be their last chance to see Hong Kong as it is now. For Weekend Travel Update, I'm Ricky Stevenson. Riverboat, still the way to travel up and down the great Mississippi. And ports of call along the way, for the most part, are still as laid back and easy going as the river itself. Take, for instance, Natchez, Mississippi, smack dab on the river between Vicksburg and Baton Rouge. 
Natchez offers a step back in time and a welcome that's definitely Dixie. Natchez specialty? Uh, Natchez special out of my kitchen. Women on the dock greet you, selling homemade pecan praline candy. Armed with that, and with the knowledge that you are now deeply ensconced in the Old South, off to town you go. A remarkable town with some 200 antebellum homes, homes that were built before the Civil War, still standing. Carolyn Denton is with the Natchez Visitors and Convention Bureau. We were very fortunate during the Civil War they weren't burned. Uh, we were not a strategic place, so they used many of the homes for hospitals. Uh, but they allowed the people to stay in the homes. The hospitality is not like it is anyplace else. We've been to Chicago, Washington, and Oregon, and there you feel like a tourist. Here you feel like you're part of the South. A number of these homes are open year round, but if you want to travel south during cooler weather, there is even a fall homes tour which begins in October. For weekend travel update, I'm Paul Ryan.